rise and shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. And welcome back in everyone. Here is a look at Longview with our Skyview camera. We are seeing overcast skies with some rain pushing on through the area. You can see the flags blowing in the wind. Winds out of the south at around 7 miles per hour. The temperature in Longview 76 with a dew point of 75. So it is mild and it is muggy. We have that flash flood warning in effect for South Central Upshur County into Gregg County and far northern Rusk County as well. So again, be on the lookout for flooded roadways. Haven't seen any reports of that yet, but keep in mind that it is still dark out. So especially once the sun rises, uh, we may have a better idea of if there is any flooding out there. Uh, but certainly there's been enough rain to warrant a flash flood warning there, which includes Gilmer, White Oak down towards Longview and Kilgore. So if you are in those areas, make sure you are using that extra time to get to your destination and really pay attention to the roads, especially as it's dark out. If you're not sure if there's road is flooded or not, I would just turn around just in case and find an alternate route. We have some heavy rain moving through Jefferson, Linden, and especially into Dangerfield, Lone Star and or City. Some of the heaviest of the rain starting to exit the Pittsburgh area at this time. But we also have a line of heavy showers and thunderstorms making their way from Sulphur Springs through Rains County, pretty much the entire county underneath some heavy rain right now, and then northern Van Zandt County to Wills Point, uh, eventually into Canton and Grand Saline within the next few minutes here. And then we also have some heavy rain heading into western Henderson County. This little batch of rain uh, in particular has had a history of producing flash flooding concerns over into Ellis County. So this will have to watch closely, especially if you're in Gun Barrel City. Uh, maybe leave that extra time to get to your destination this morning and be prepared for some heavier rain to move in within the next half hour or so. We also have a batch of heavy rain into deep east Texas, into Shelby County near Tenaha, moving into southern Panola County as well. We are seeing that batch of heavy rain. Now as we head throughout your day today, uh, there's not going to be a whole lot changing for us. Here's 8 o'clock in the morning, still widespread heavy rain focused along the Interstate 20 corridor. As we head into the late morning and into the afternoon, we will see the rain start to pick up, especially into deep east Texas. And we could see a few stronger thunderstorms heading into the afternoon where a 60 mile per hour wind gust and a brief tornado cannot be entirely ruled out as these storms move through primarily into deep east Texas into the afternoon and early evening. And then we'll even continue to see some rain heading into uh, this evening and overnight. Temperature wise right now we're in the upper 70s in east Texas, low 80s in places like Waco, College Station and Houston. This afternoon high temperatures will range from the upper 70s along Interstate 30 to the mid 80s into deep east Texas. Taking a look at your seven day forecast now we are going to see High rain chances for us today, tonight, into the day on Tuesday, and even Wednesday we can continue to see scattered showers and thunderstorms. Rain chances will uh, lower heading into the weekend, but that means high temperatures will warm back into the lower 90s. For deep east Texas, we are going to see periods of heavy rain for today, tonight, and into your day on Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms, and then isolated activity heading into the end of the work week and into the weekend. 